terrorists and local Fulani men are forming a dangerous alliance in some communities in Yubi State as the terrorists train herdsmen and collect cows from them as tasks. Sahara reporters learned from military source that the terrorists collect one cow for every 40 cows and other food items as tasks from the herdsmen. It was gathered that some of the herdsmen, including underage boys, were given arms and recruited and prepared to carry out the next schedule of attacks. The training of herdsmen and collection of tassels from them is a common practice in Gidam Tan, Yobe State. The terrorists are in need of food items, including meat, and they are recruiting and training the herdsmen in Gona Siri, Danwaya, and Abari village in Godam, local government area, a military sort stated. Terrorists collect one cow for every 40 cows as stars, issue tag and receipts to the herdsmen. It is becoming an organized process, he revealed further. Sahara reporters had on Friday, uh, February 12 reported that intelligent reports from security source confirmed that establishment of new base by terrorists in some part of Yubi and Adamawa state. It was learned that the terrorists established hideouts in Gidam and some other parts of Yubi. A security source listed other new bases of the insurgents as Damawa and um, Yowasiri, local government area of Yube State, and Mubi, Madagali, and Gobi, local government area of Adamawa State. From there, they attacked in Gidam and then adopted three personnel of the Nigerian Customs Service. Boko Haram attacks has intensified in Yobe State gradually since January, claiming many lives, including the lives of soldiers. They have also led to the destruction of lively, uh, livelihoods, government property, and uh, public facilities. In February, Nigerian soldiers were killed in Goniri, a border community between Yobe and Borono State, when a Boko Haram terrorist rammed an explosive ladder vehicle into them during a clash. The bomber believed to be a member of the Islamic State West African province fashion of the group had targeted the military convoy in Gunuri. Only last week, the insurgents attacked Katako community in the Gujuba local government area of Yubi State with heavy gunshots causing residents to flee. The burned down primary schools and health center care health center care located in the community. Hmm. This is real trouble. Boko Haram militant even are uh, even more serious and organized than this government. At least they realize that taxes are vital to run their terrorist waste your government continue as your government continue to sleep he said the truth is that boko haram bandits and fulani men hasn't was this government wants to fight rather the government is more interested in instigating war zones in the southwest southeast the soft headedness in remaxing the caliphate soldiers is targeted at instigating certain youths Nothing like herdsmen and bandits, they are all Boko Haram. And the government just renamed them to confused people. It's not new after all UN reported that Boko Haram earned over 2 million naira from tax of local farmers and fishermen per year. And sorry, 200 million naira. Let me take it again. It's not new. After all, UN reported that Boko Haram earned over 200 million naira from tax of local farmers and fishermen per year. And if the soldiers want to cripple the terrorists, they should attack the lake, 
Lichard Basin area and beat back the terrorists so they can collect tax from them. Two years ago, a group of bandits were neutralized by the security of officers and Boko Haram commanders were among the cops found in Kaduna. I don't blame Erufai for refusing to consider dialogue. Nigerians are reacting. They are organized more than the federal government of northern Nigeria. That is why they key every day without any trace. I really think if government engages Sahara reporters, you know, these people can give you correct news. <laughs> Wahala. Someone said we don't we we understand that they are working hand in hand, but the soldiers are more interested in killing innocent protesters and lucky to gate. This is simple reasoning. I think I had been query how would a normal herdsman get gun? Gun is not available in open market, so they need a special connection which will not be naturally available to genuine headers. Where would bandits get gun and masters its usage? Can Boko Haram turn some of their members to headers and penalize people along tribal line? Boko Haram can easily recruit Fulani from neighboring countries. They can even uh, genuine headers and take over their cows. There is no much difference between the operation of Boko Haram, bandit, and killer headers. The new nation called Nigeria should be an ex-state of our great-grandfather, uh, Dam, uh, Osama, Osama Danfodion, we must ruthlessly prevent a change of power. We use the majority, the minorities of the North as willing truth and the South as a conquered territory and never allow them to rule over us and never allow them to have control over our future. So hello guys, I'm going to drop it here. Let's hear from you what you have to say about this. Kindly hit the comment section and don't forget to